G'day guys, Rob from TAT. Today we've got a BT-15 with an intermittent engine light on, so stick with us and I'll show you what we found. So this BT-50 came into us with a uh, P0341 cam sensor code. Uh, the vehicle had previously had the cam sensor and the crank sensor both replaced and uh, the issue was still there. So obviously uh, what we decided to do was get the vehicle in and do a cam and crank correlation test. And that's obviously showing us what the computer is actually seeing in regards to engine timing. So what we ended up finding out is this uh, timing was out by one tooth. And I'll show you how we found that out. Uh, lucky for us, uh, Brendan Sorensen actually uploaded a known good cam and crank correlation on the website and I'll show you uh, exactly what we found. So if we're looking at the screen here, our, uh, this is our known good from the TAP website. Um, as you can see, our red trace is our cam signal and our blue trace is our crank signal. And what we did is just pick up a reference point. So we're just looking at the end of the, uh, the cam signal and we're just counting the teeth after it. As you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 on our known good. So. 14 teeth after the cam signal on the known good capture and if we go to our our actually current failing one we do the same test and we count after our cam signal one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so as you can see that just proves to us that there look there appears to be uh, one tooth off uh, this timing appears to be one tooth off. So there you go guys, hopefully that makes sense. So obviously we just want to make sure we're getting these sensor faults in that we're actually testing them before we're replacing them. Um, the best way to do that is with an oscilloscope because that is exactly what the computer is seeing. And in this case we solved the fault or we haven't rectified the issue yet. And the customer hasn't given us the go ahead to pull it down or anything like that, but we're able to go ahead and give them a, you know, the idea of what's actually going on and why this sensor keeps logging this uh, code. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.